Ready for another adventure? I'm not afraid to kill a woman. That won't make it easy. If that thing is activated, it can cause large-scale destruction. What now, Miss Carter? I go to work. Hi, I'm Mike Seymour from FXGuide.com for Wired. With the new show Agent Carter, Marvel expands still further into the television space, and they're not the only ones that are moving to the small screen. Visual effects for the new series were done by Industrial Light and Magic. Now, traditionally, ILM only did visual effects for films, but now they're doing series and brought their considerable talents to episodic television under the supervision of series VFX supervisor Sheena Dougal. No newcomer to the Marvel Universe herself, Sheena has done second unit on a range of Marvel films from Thor 2 to Iron Man 3. The problem that Sheena and the ILM team faced was producing the effects at feature film level on a weekly TV schedule. The effects range from everything you might expect from a period drama set in New York in the 1940s and a huge range of effects that would obviously only be at home in the Marvel Universe. As we can see here, as Peggy Carter deals with another one of Howard Stark's inventions. Complex fluid, particles and smoke simulations, all using ILM's Academy Award winning proprietary tools that required a huge range of effects for just this sequence alone. ILM pulls no punches in their detailed work. Major effect shots such as the oil refinery explosion are painstakingly crafted out of multiple layers of practical and primarily digital explosions with smoke, fire, sparks, all being added and tracked in carefully to give the sequences the kind of production value that audiences have come to expect from both Marvel and ILM. The primary challenge actually for ILM was not the effects themselves, but this punishing TV schedule and constant delivery dates. To facilitate this, well-controlled green screen and set extension work was shot, with all of the work being filmed by one cinematographer. Gabriel Beriston, who Sheena had actually worked with extensively before. Interestingly, Sheena actually worked uh, herself as a composer at ILM in the mid-90s. So it's great to see ILM expanding to television, and given the nature of this show's particularly strong, independent female lead, it's also great to see women such as Sheena in such a senior visual effects leadership role today. Well, don't forget to subscribe for more behind-the-scenes action. I'm Mike Seymour for Wired.